Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are jumping into. Wait for it! A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, my timing is so bad. Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy. This is one of the best Star Wars games, I think, out there. It is a single and co op game, so you can play with a friend. Um, there's no like multiplayer or anything like that. So it's just sort of a more casual experience But if you were looking for like the complete Star Wars experience to go through like all the original Star Wars trilogy uh, Movies and characters like this is it you get to be Jedi and you can be Han Solo and stormtroopers and Darth Vader And you have force powers and and there's Lego. It's it's literally got everything. It's it's actually pretty cool Funny thing about this game, if you linger on the title screen, they actually start showing you like a promo for the game. Like it has a narrator and everything. It's kind of weird. It's not showing you gameplay. It's like literally an, an ad for the game. Um, anyway, we, we're actually just going to hop in here. I was a huge fan of this game. I had it back in the day on my original Xbox and I played it and I literally unlocked everything in the entire game. And to unlock everything in the entire game is actually no small feat. You have to get like a billion Lego chits or whatever. Um, and oh, I just slapped my dude. <laughs> so I am Leia. You can switch back and forth between the two characters, I think. Um, and actually, it's been so long. I don't even remember how to get things going. I think you can like buy characters and you can dress characters up and stuff. Hey, okay, hold on. Cancel the save. Yes, I want to cancel the save. Um, uh, ooh. What's going on here? Oh, this is I remember. Okay, so the canteen is like a hub world and this is episode four. So if we want, we can go into episode four, a new hope and there's different missions and we can like play out the whole game. You can come over here and there will be an area for episode five. I think that's right here or no, that's like Jabba the Hutt, the Jabba the Hutt face over that door. I think this is episode five. Yeah, and then there's episode six. So you can play like all the original Star Wars games and like it's pretty cool. So a lot of the game is this third person uh, sort of action mode uh, where you're kind of running around shooting blasters. If you get Luke, you become a Jedi and stuff and you can use a lightsaber and you can deflect shots and you can use force powers and all that. I think you can also, oops, you can also, yeah, you can just get in like random firefights in the hub world. And when you blow things up, you collect these little like Lego chits or whatever. And again, you want to try and get like billions of these things because you use them to unlock stuff. So this is just sort of like a fun, fun little game. And uh, yeah, I mean, I legit played this back in the day. Uh, but anyway, yeah, some of the levels are kind of running around. Um, we'll do story. Some of the levels are running around in this third person mode. They also have like modes where you're flying around like X-Wings and you get to fly the Millennium Falcon and they have like different game modes. They have like, they have everything. I, I, I can't hike this game enough. Um, Fun fact, though, I actually, I, I had to correct something that was in the book, guys. There was a typo. Uh, so today, when I looked through the book, I, I saw, oh, Lego Star Wars is in is in the Thousand Games, just play before you die book. But there's a typo. They put Lego Star Wars 1, meaning the prequel trilogy. So, I mean, obviously, that was a huge mistake. I don't know how the editors didn't catch that. I fixed it, so we're playing the correct Star Wars game. But if for some reason you like the prequel movies... Which is kind of a weird stat. I, I don't understand if you do. But if you happen to like the prequel movies, there was a Lego Star Wars game that came out originally, and it was just the prequel movies. And you could, it, it had, it uses basically the same engine, same idea, except you're playing through the the prequel movies. Um, it doesn't have nearly as many characters, and it's like a number of advancements were made when they <laughs> I like seeing the the Star Destroyer made of Lego. It's hilarious. Um, a number of enhancements were made for this game because it is the sequel. This is the second Lego Star Wars game. But I know that the book meant to include this one, not the ori not the prequel one, because honestly, the original trilogy is just so much more iconic uh, and fun, I think. Like, you know, we got 3PO, we got R2-D2, we're going to have Luke and Leia and Han, like all the classics. You know, Obi-Wan's going to be in this, Yoda's in this, Darth Vader's in this, guys. You know, and Vader when he's like cool and old and in the, his black suit, not when he's a little kid racing pods. I mean like real Darth Vader. Not, you know, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader. But anyway, I digress. You know, if you like the prequels, you know, power to you. But 
Honestly, as somebody who grew up with the original trilogy for my entire life, when the prequel movie, you know, you know, some people say like the prequel movies aren't Star Wars. I do kind of stand by that and believe that myself personally. Um, and again, it's nothing against you if you like the prequels, but the prequel movies have a very different tone. I would, I would say, compared to the uh, compared to the original trilogy. You know, and like when Mandalorian came out, one of the reasons people loved it so much is it went back to the original feel of Star Wars. Um, and again, you know, you like the prequel movies, you like the prequel movies. That's fine, but. It, to understand where I'm coming from, imagine your entire life, um, every time you went to see baseball, it was baseball. And then one day you showed up for a game, and it was soccer. And people are like, this is this is the new baseball, this is the prequel baseball sport. And you look at it, and you're like, it's fine, I guess, but it's not baseball. And people, like, freak out at you. They're like, what do you mean it's not baseball? It's more baseball than baseball. All baseball is baseball, you know? How dare you say that? It's like, no, it's... Soccer's not baseball. It's a different thing. Um, and so, yes, I do happen to think that uh, if you go back and watch the prequels and the original trilogies back-to-back, -back, the original trilogy just has this, like, 70s sci-fi adventure feel to it. And like the uh, the prequel movies feel like a 90s CGI fest, you know, and it has like different characters and uh, like the, the writing is like way more about politics and it's less like a, a, a sort of Flash Gordon-y space adventure. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, my goal here today was not to just uh, harp on the superiority of the original trilogy to the prequels, but I wanted to give you some, I wanted to at least justify why I'm not playing the original one that the book su suggests. And I made the executive decision. I've never done this in the history of my channel. But I made the executive decision to override the book and make correct a small mistake they have in there, and that is to play the correct LEGO Star Wars game. The more fun, better one. Anyway, now if we had 3PO, you could come over here and you could open this door, but neither of us are 3PO, so it looks like that is not happening. It's kind of cool that we get to start the game playing as Leia, by the way, um, because... I feel like most Star Wars games, like even the Super Nintendo Star Wars games that were pretty cool. What is this down here? This looks like something. Even the Super Nintendo uh, Star Wars games. Can we grab this? No, we can't. They, uh, they always started you with Luke. Like it's very common and there's been so many Star Wars games over the years, but it's so common to start as like Luke or Han or somebody, you know, like start as one of the boys. And that's fine. Um, I mean, uh, the Lego Star Wars Super Nintendo, or not the Lego, the the... Super Nintendo Star Wars game is actually a pretty fun game despite its brutal difficulty. But this is kind of cool that it's starting with Leia. Because honestly, if you go back and you rewatch the movies, you know, the first scene of Star Wars Episode 4 is Leia's ship getting attacked. So it does kind of make sense that the action... Oh my god, Vader's over there. It does kind of make sense that the action should, uh, should start, you know, with her. So it's kind of neat that she's a playable character. You get to see her running around, blasting things, fighting the good fight. Okay, we're pulling these levers. Come on, buddy. I like how they give her just sort of like an anonymous, uh, you know, like uh, uh, ally or co-pilot or whatever. Oh, I think those things are going to explode. Ooh, nice try. If we hit these a bunch of times. I think they will explode. Kaboom! Hey, we killed Darth Vader pretty good oh no we did not <laughs> oh he's running away <laughs> he doesn't want to fight us the blue chits i think are worth a thousand each Ooh, and you can get bounty hunters you can unlock boba fett guys oh my god boba fett so neat so there is an incentive to going back and replaying each level with different characters because you want to play as like different kinds of characters like bounty hunters have special doors that only bounty hunters can open uh, Jedi's have certain doors. We saw a 3PO door. This is a Stormtrooper door. You can go back and replay this level as a freaking Stormtrooper. How neat is that? Oh, man. I want to try and get to... Um, it'd be nice to get at least to Hoth, but I'm not 100% sure if that's in the cards. I mean, this game is not very hard, frankly. Again, this is what I would consider more... Oh, look, he's choking him. We got that iconic scene. That's so cool. What I would say is this is... Uh, you know, just a casual game of, like, going through Star Wars uh, and just sort of having fun. And there's, like, a lot of this where you get tons of chits and you just collect them and it feels really good. It, it tingles your brain in the right spot because you're collecting all the power-ups. Um, but, yeah, it's not a hard game necessarily. But it does have a lot of replay in the sense of, like, there there is incentive to replay uh, 
you know, certain levels. We can push certain objects that have black and yellow stripes. Oh, look at this. Man, Leia is, Leia's doing work, man. She is, uh, gonna find her own way out of this, uh, out of this predicament. Boom, give me all these things, too. Look at all the jets. If you get, so notice I have a gold bar in the center of the screen. If that builds up to the, to the max, um, then I think when you pass the level, you, like, unlock something. These things that are glowing, you need force powers, I believe. Um, another big element, we saw this at the beginning, but I wasn't, I didn't really talk about it, but another big element of this game is that, um, you get to build a lot of Lego within the game. So sometimes your characters will stumble upon piles of, uh, unassembled Legos, and if you hold the B button, your character will, like, build something, which is kind of neat. So I did that at the beginning of the level, I kind of talked over doing it, so you might not have noticed. I'll have more opportunities to do it, so don't you worry. Man, we are so close. We are so close. I wonder if I get to R2-D2 if it's going to end the level. So I'm so close to maxing out my gold bar. Press Y to take control of them. Ooh, look at this. Now I'm in control of 3PO. All right, 3PO, open this door. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I can put my plans in R2-D2. <laughs> so this game does retell the entire original trilogy, but it does so in sort of a hum humorous Lego way. So I kind of like that. Uh, it, it's sort of like, you're not going to get bored necessarily, even if you know the movie, because you get to see, re-see classic old scenes. Uh, and, oh my god, we get to be R2-D2. Oh, true Jedi! So you get true Jedi when you get enough, uh, chits in the level in order to max out your bar. And I think doing that unlocks, unlocks stuff. So it's like, you definitely want to be doing that in, in all your levels. You want to be getting so many of these like chits or tokens or whatever they are, like Chuck E. Cheese dollars. I mean, they're actually little Lego pieces. That's what they are. They're gold and silver Lego pieces. Um, oh, look at this. We can actually play, wait, where, where are we here? We can play like a crane game, I think. Well, operating press X or B to pick things up and drop them. Oh, can I go like this? I wish I could like see the top of the, the screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that did not work the way I wanted to. Oh, there's a shadow. So hold on. If I pick up this, there we go. I can drop it on these guys over here. Oh, here we go. See ya, Stormies. We got them. Cool. That was kind of cool. Walk up to a friendly character. I want to break stuff here. What what goes on there, I wonder? Like if we go up here. Oh, that's like a lift. Wait, what? Does that help me? Hey, wait, where? how does 3PO get all the way over there? 3PO, what's going on, man? How did you find this bridge, dude? Uh, walk up to friendly character. Okay, we can use R2 to fly here. Here we go, R2. Fly! Oh, we could have just jumped the gap. Okay, walk up to friendly character. And can 3PO jump? He doesn't feel like the jumping type. He definitely cannot. <laughs> so, we gotta find some way of getting threeps over this gap here. Uh, oh, right. That would do it. Um, we'll go over this way. Oh my god, I feel like I'm not gonna make this jump. Oh god! Okay, when you die, you lose some chits. That's, uh, that's how it works. Um... Dude, I wish I could help you. Oh, maybe we have to pick up 3PO. 3PO, stay over there. Stay over there, dude. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna crane game you. Oops, get back in here. Here you go, Threeps. This is for your own good, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Little basic puzzle. Oh, I, I left him in the claw. Little basic puzzle solving for you. Keep things fresh. So yeah, uh, you have unlimited lives. When you die, you just lose uh, tokens that you had collected. So the idea is to not die, uh, obviously. I mean, that that's kind of the premise in every video game. Don't die. Kind of goes without saying. But it's hard to get the sort of true Jedi, you know, maxed out bar if you're dying all the time. So pro tip from Gaming J. You heard it here first. Don't die. Woo. 
Look at that. Die, 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 and kill the enemies. Oh, you can just claw them to death, too. This is great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's like a, there's, they sound like an admiral. I'm like brawling. I'm like going Wolverine on these guys. Yes. Oh, that guy's in his underwear. What the heck? <laughs> Did you see that? One of the stormtroopers. We like caught him, we caught him, literally caught him with his pants down. Um, anything else? There's so many secrets in this, in this game. It's crazy. Oh, get out of here. I uh, like he can blow up walls and stuff. There was like a one of three thing that I saw. Oh, they're like punching him. Boom. Get out of here. The game is also very generous with health. You see like little hearts all over the place in this game. Boom, 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 boom. Die. Okay, here's an example of Lego that you can build. See these like, like, uh, sort of hopping pieces. If you hold the B button, you, uh, your character will actually assemble some Lego. That's kind of cool. Boom, boom. Give me the jits. There's a lot of glowing blue stuff here. I'm pretty sure you have to be a Jedi to do anything with that. Oh god, I'm one heart away from dying. Oh yes! We made it. So if you change to different characters, I'm pretty sure your health stays the same. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. So it's not like Ninja Turtles on the NES where you just switch to like your character with the most health anytime one character is like almost dead. Now, if only we were a stormtrooper. We can get in that sweet door. And we'll never know what mysteries lie beyond. Oh man, this, this playing this now makes me want to play through the whole thing and like unlock every character again. But I know that's like a tall order. Like that would take months. I can't remember how long I, I played this, but yeah. Takes a long time. Oh, he even has a little thingy that, from the movies. Um, He can open this one too. There you go, R2. What the? There's, there's stormtroopers having a bath. What's going on? We we interrupted their bath here. Uh, okay, we're gonna do this. That was that was awkward. Those guys were like, "Well, we might be invading a rebel ship, but there's no reason not to be hygienic about it." Oh, three PO is missing an arm. Sorry, dude. Did I do that? Okay, we got to we got to figure out how to. Open that for 3 PO. Is there another lever in here? Oh, there is. Hey, guys. You guys weren't having a bath in here, were you? There you go. All right, 3 PO. <laughs> you one-armed freak. Where are you? Get over here, buddy. He can't even fight, by the way. 3 PO is literally just good for opening doors. All he's good for. All right, get in there. You walking tin can. Oh, I guess I need R2. Where's R2? R2, you get over here. See, even uh, at least R2 can fly. Like an actual handy ability. Are right, you coming in here, 3PO? Oh, here he comes. Hey, you ruined our back. Oh, get in there! <laughs> I feel bad for the two nameless uh, guards who helped these guys escape. They just get left to presumably die. Oh, no! That's the dude! You killed me! I was playing that guy for half the level. He's like, I don't know what plans you want. Now we're on Tatooine. And they're getting in fights. <laughs> it's funny how, like, the interesting thing about this game is because there's no dialogue, it's all kind of told through mime. They really didn't have to translate this game to any other languages. I mean, I guess the menus and stuff have to be translated, but the actual cutscenes. They're, they're easy to understand for anyone. I mean, I guess if you didn't see Star Wars, you wouldn't really know what's going on. Uh, but for anyone who's seen Star Wars, it's it's very easy to follow. They're just sort of humorous summaries. Ooh, episode five and six are unlocked. That tempts me, guys. That tempts me a lot. Um, I think we got to check out... Well, I think we're just going to bounce around today. I was originally planning on playing through episode four so we could unlock episode five and six, but considering... Ooh, stud... They're not called chits, they're called studs. We have 56,000 studs. Uh, considering we just unlocked the other episodes, I'm kind of tempted to, like, try a few levels from, uh, from each and kind of bounce around. The so one level complete. And we got the true Jedi. All right, we're doing great. Uh, let's go to the cantina. I want to try, I want to try episode five. I think the first level of episode five, you get to fly the Millennium Falcon. 
So I'm I'm in favor for that. We'll we'll come back to episode four. I'm not done with episode four, but I want to try and uh, you know bounce around here. You know, we've all seen the Star Wars movies. It's not like we haven't seen the Star Wars movies. Everybody knows, you know, what comes next after the droids are on Tatooine. They meet Luke and stuff. We're going to fight some Jawas. But before we do that, let's uh, go check out the Hoth battle. Yes. Boom. Every level begins with this, the awesome Star Wars scroll. I guarantee, by the way, this video of mine is going to be totally demonetized because of all the Star Wars music. Every time I play a Star Wars game, I, I edit the video, I upload it to YouTube. Instantly, I get an email about, like, you know, a copyright strike from... Or not strike, but copyright claim from Lucasfilm or Disney or whatever. I mean, it's fair, I guess. But it, it does kind of suck that it's, like, just because a game has music from a movie, it's like you're going to copyright claim it. If this game happened to have not... Like if Star Wars music, it wouldn't get claimed. I mean, I guess I could go into the settings and turn the music off, but... Realistically, Star Wars isn't Star Wars without the music, so whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't care that much. The video gets copyright claimed. You know, you can claim my uh, 25 cents in ad revenues, Disney. Enjoy it. <laughs> I make like nothing from ads, but <laughs> uh, anyway, we have the uh, opening here. We have the droid discovering the shield generator. And then the empires, like, we found something, sir. And he's like, it's probably nothing, though. And he's like, the rebels are there. I know it. General Nidar, assemble the fleet. Then they invade. They were cutting right to the chase here. They could have had, like, an opening level where you have to fight, like, wampas or something. But I feel like everybody wants to just fight uh, the walkers. And so they knew what they were doing. With this battle, they were like... Let's just cut right to the chase. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's also cool that, like, everything in this game that you see is built out of Lego. So it's like you can get a Lego set for all this stuff. Um, all right, so we can tow cable, guys. We can also just straight up shoot them. Um, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Yeah, down you go. It's actually kind of hard to aim because you can't stop going forward. But you can tow cable these things and throw them into guys. <laughs> so the tow cables totally do stuff. You can, like, tow cable these guys, I think. And I don't know if you can... Oh, I, no, I pulled them down. That's something. Here you go. Tow cable this bomb, bro. Oh, God. Okay, the bomb flew all over the place. This is chaos, actually. Oh, yeah, you can, like, twirl around and do acrobatic moves. Toe cable the bomb! Right into these guys! Where's another guy? You're getting a bomb, bro! Okay, no, never mind. Where'd that bomb go? Yeah, the bomb is gone. Straight up gone. Um, I kind of forget what you're supposed to do in this level. It's It's been so many years since I, since I touched this game, really. It's crazy. But I definitely remember playing around on Hoth here. I'm pretty sure there's a level like this with the Millennium Falcon. I think when you're fighting the Death Star. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Where you're kind of, it's like a third person flying level, but you're flying around the Millennium Falcon. Pretty sure it's when you're fighting the uh, Death Star. It might be in Return of the Jedi that that happens. Hey yo, flying all over the place. So I think we'll try a level from Return of the Jedi next because it would be kind of cool to uh, check out Luke because Luke is going to have force powers. Plus that green lightsaber is just so awesome. All right, we're just continuing to kill and ice all these guys. I don't know what the end game is here. Like I, oh, I'm all over the place. Oh my God. So just to kill an endless stream of these walking guys. I think I'm supposed to pull a bomb to that door at the end of this this canyon here. All right, see ya. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna make him fall. Down you go. Oh, it said two of 10. Maybe I'm supposed to make like 10 of these guys fall down. Come on, buddy, fall three of 10. There we go. Progress. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to make guys fall. Makes sense. Any more Imperial mechs around? Want to get messed up? Like you guys. Ooh! 
<laughs> so with the the big guys, you have to like run around and like uh, you know cover or, or tie up their legs. But the the chicken walker dudes over here, you just sort of grab them and then just like continue flying forward, and you eventually like pull them over due to momentum. And, like down they go. Oh, killed that one. Hey, let's grab a bomb. Yeah. Oh, that guy grabbed the bomb too. Oh, the. <laughs> and we together threw it into his ally. Good job, probe droid. You betrayed. You betrayed the the hand that feeds you. Grab this dude. Down you go, buddy. I think what I like about the, about the Lego Star Wars game so much is that like. Even the first time I played this, the, the LEGO Star Wars games, I got a sense of nostalgia. I think that is one thing that, again, for me, you know, growing up in the 80s, remembering watching the original Star Wars trilogy for the first time and, like, watching it at, like, family gatherings and, like, you know, like, watching the, like, Ewoks and the droids cartoon that came out in, like, the 80s and stuff, like, it's, like, all of that, it's, like, just can't be competed with. I would say, um, for like new movies and new Star Wars media. And I think that's why something like, you know, The Mandalorian, when it first came out, I, I really was drawn to it because it was like a return to form for Star Wars. Like it felt like it was Star Wars of that older era. And I think that's, again, you know, not to sort of return to the point too much um, and make that the focus of the video. But I think that's also why, again, like I'm just not drawn to the prequel movies. I remember watching them in the 90s, and they felt like very 90s movies. Um, it, you know, it didn't strike me that the plot was all that strong or interesting, but, you know, maybe if I had grown up with those movies, I would be singing a different tune. You know, there's some movies that, you know, when you grow up with them, you have a fondness for them, even if, you know, they're not the greatest movies. It, it happens. So, yeah, maybe it's the case. Maybe it's the case that uh, had I grown up with the prequels, I would, I would today much rather be playing the prequel Star Wars, uh, you know, Lego video game. I don't know. But, guys, I am who I am, and I grew up the, the uh, times that I grew up, and... Boom! That definitely was the way out. I blew my own ship up in the process. Oh, here we go. Here's the big boys. Now we get to tow cable them. And just like the movie, down you go! Is he gonna fall, or...? There we go. Boom. Oh, I don't even think we can kill him, to be honest. I think we just... Oh, I know what we have to do. Once we knock him down, we gotta grab these uh, bombs here. And we gotta fly them into him. Kaboom! Pretty cool mechanics on this, on this level here. These guys, I think, are just troopers that are fighting. I don't think their laser blasts can hit us, so we're gonna kind of ignore them. Go kill more of these guys. Tow cable! You're going down, dude! And they take a lot of uh, tow cable in to actually knock them down. Alright, now we come here and get a bomb. Oh, there's still a guy. <laughs> we just left a guy lying in the snow. Okay, tow cable. Tow cable. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's a little hard to control. A little bit. Oh my god, and I think I just dropped the bomb somewhere. Oh, you get out of here. Yeah, it's a little hard to control, but I'm not complaining too much. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay, maybe I should start complaining. Because those were that was two like uninterrupted drive-bys with the bomb. Oh, don't tow cable this guy. Okay. Kill these guys. I keep flipping around and I don't understand why it's I'm flipping. But here we go. Alright. This time we got him. Oh no, he's up! Oh my god, alright, tow cable, down you go, bro. We totally got these guys. Guys, now, this guy's easier than the chicken walker guys, actually, frankly. Because, I don't even think the big guy even really notices me. I can't get this bomb here, though. There we go. Alright. Time to show this into him, yes! Kaboom! And his tattered carcass blew open this door, I guess? Or something? Oh, now I can use a bomb to blow that door up. Okay, I got you. Those chicken walker guys are just going down like nothing. Alright, here we go! Bombs away! 
Kaboom! Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at all the chits. Man, we are doing really bad with the chit count. My guests are called studs. We are really low on studs. <laughs> we gotta hit the bars, man. We're so low on studs. We're never gonna defeat the Empire without more studs on our team. We need, like, uh, hot rebel dudes. And speedos. Alright, now... Oh, I need to carry the bomb over that? Are you joking? Okay. Well, let's go back over this way and get a bomb. Out of the way, buddy. Okay, so they want us to carry the bomb through all of this and then, like, over a bridge. Oh, get away from the bomb. Get away from the bomb. No, 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 one thing that kind of sucks is some of these walls reflect your lasers and it's like they reflect them right in your face and I'm sometimes getting hit, I think, from my own laser. Alright. Get out of here. I don't need you detonating this bomb prematurely on your worthless carcass. Watch out, soldiers! I've got a bomb! Alright, here we go. Kaboom! We did it. I mean, that heart. <laughs> and your studs! I claim all studs in the name of the Glorious Rebellion. Alright, we are doing better in the stud count, but we're still doing horrible, really. Realistically. <laughs> oh no, they're sending a bunch of probe droids at us. That does not seem like a smart plan. Just send a bunch of probe droids. Okay, so that canister I just got at the bottom of the screen, it said like 3 out of 11. That was... a mini pack or something like that. Man, I can barely see what's going on on the screen. And, um, I think if you get ten, if you collect all ten of those and they're scattered throughout different levels and stuff, you unlock, like, either another character or, like, some add-ons or something like that. I can't quite remember what you unlock, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, different characters in this game have all sorts of different abilities. Like, Boba Fett has, like, rockets and jetpacks and stuff. Luke has force powers. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, what all the other characters are. I mean, we've seen, like, R2 and 3PO. They have, like, door-opening powers and stuff. And this is just chaos. This is, I guess, where you earn all your chits. You just come in here, and it's a stud party. Stud fest. Stud fest 69. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I got there from, uh, Star Wars. But somehow, somehow we made it there. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's kind of a cool, like, everyone's fighting all over the place kind of battle, though. We have to kill one more probe droid. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? He's hiding from me. Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta kill more of these guys? These completely ineffective robots? Alright, let's see if I can handle it. Um, this game obviously is... Not more fun, but quite fun with a friend. So, it, one thing this game has, which is kind of cool, is drop in and out uh, co-op play. So if you notice in the top right corner, it says connect controller. It kind of reminds me of like old NES games that were like press start on controller 2, you know, and the second player could just literally drop right in. Uh, so I like that. I like that. It, the sort of old school. I mean, this really does feel like an old school game that was just, you know, has like very old school sensibilities in some ways. I guess in other ways it doesn't. Old school games often do not give you infinite lives. <laughs> If this was a if this was an old school Star Wars game, you'd have one life and no continues. And if you die, there's like a big fu screen like between your death and the next and the main menu. It's so like back in the day, game designers did not have sympathy for kids. They hated them. I think. I think game designers in the '80s were really pissed off that kids were playing video games, and they were like, "We got to figure out a way to like destroy their little souls." Those little kids. We were raised on like the hardest, baddest. Most brutal video games the world has ever seen. That was my youth, guys. <laughs> oh, these big guys now are coming for some, eh? Alright, they're coming incredibly slowly, too. Oh, hello. Can we wait for him to get a little closer, or... Oh, there we go. Let's just tag this guy. Uh, hold on. He seems to be, like, caught on the other guys. Well, I'm gonna get rid of some of these... These, uh, dudes are just hanging around for a sec. Okay, now... Now we got this. 
All right, you're going down. What do, what do you think these things look like? Turtles or dogs? I always thought turtles, but there was a YouTube video where it showed somebody with their AT... AT-AT. That's what they are, right? Their AT-AT walker. Uh, and it was, like, animated to make it look like it was running around like a dog. I don't know. It was in a very cool internet video. Hard to understand if, if you don't... If you haven't seen it, what I'm saying right now probably just sounds like the, the rantings of a madman. God damn, these bombs. Oh my god, I'm about to die again. Oh my god, I died again. This is actually quite brutal. This guy's everywhere. Holy jeez. I think I only have to kill like one or two of these guys, but like I can't stay alive long enough to do it. Okay, let's get these hearts. Ow. <laughs> okay. Knock you down. Okay. Knock you down then, maybe. And there's like a guy behind this guy. My god. Come for these hearts. Okay, there we go. Now, trip this guy. Tripping these guys is not the hard part. The hard part is literally getting them with the bomb. Okay, we got that. Missed the heart. We get this. And... Did we get it? Guys, where am I? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, where's the bomb? Oh my god, we are doing so badly at this part. Okay, let's try and get this guy instead. I feel like everyone's clustered around the other guy. I'm gonna go for this guy first. The nice, easy kill. Oh my god, we're dying so much. So every time you die, as I said, you lose chits. Um, and we are, we are down a lot of chits. I think we had like 35,000 at the peak. Like, we're about to die again. This is crazy. Give me that heart. Yes, it's keeping me in the game. Okay, can I just knock this one guy over? Okay, down he goes. We have to kill two of them. That's it. Okay, grab this thing. And we're gonna go like this. Kaboom! All right, we got one. Jeez, that was brutal. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a heart. I'm just gonna fly around over this way and kind of like lure them all over here for a sec. Probably try and collect some hearts. So I don't die stupidly. Okay. Um, they are- there's still tons of them over here. They have not- they didn't fall for the bait. They didn't try and follow me. Oh my god, I'm literally about to die again. If I can just survive a few more turns, if I die, at least- Oh, at least he fell down! Okay, forget about the, the studs at this point. There's absolutely no way we're getting the true Jedi mode. Yes! Die! When you do die, it drops off like four of those like- uh, Oh my god, there's more? Four of those blue studs? And I think if you collect them all, then it kind of negates your death, but it's actually a little, a little hard to do. Okay, so we got to kill one of everything now. This is like the final battle. I think what I'm going to try and do is take out this big guy first, because he's the most annoying, and I'm just going to kill other guys <laughs> in the process of taking out that big guy. Now come here, grab this. Grab this, and... Oh! Wait, where did the bomb go? It went over the ridge! What are you joking? Okay, spawn me another bomb. Hurry up, boys. Hurry up. Okay, and... Kaboom! Alright, finally. Jeez, those guys are, like, hard to kill. Now, let's just finish these guys off here. Down you go. And we got one more kill. Down you go. Alright. Is that it? Looks like we're winning the battle. Boom! We crushed him. Now we get a little uh, montage of Luke and Biggs, is it? Forget who the other character is. Luke's co-pilot ends up dying. I remember that. Then he goes commando on uh, this AT-AT. Uh, Come on, Luke, get out of there! We're gonna get, get to see Luke lightsaber one of these things. Yeah, Luke. Look how big that bomb is in his hand. Oh, get it in there! <laughs> Luke Jedi'd the crap out of that thing. 
Good job, Luke. You done it. Level complete. Replay unlocked. Now we unlock the snow speeder. And that's it. I think you can unlock like the X-Wing, Millennium Falcon. You can unlock um, like Slave 1, like Boba Fett ship. Um, what else can you unlock? I think you can unlock TIE Fighters and stuff like that. Um, oh, so this is the mini kit that I was telling you about. So we only have like four of ten. If we get all five or all ten, then I think you build... In that case, that looked like it was going to build a walker, an Imperial walker. I guess you have to find them in the... Oh, I meant to go to the cantina. You have to find them in the level, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and skip this intro here. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Re or Yeah, poor rebels. Oh, they're loud. They're mocking us. Those jerks. Fun fact, the guy who played the actor who uh, just did that, just blew up the shield generator, he also played the bad guy in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It was Donovan, the guy who drank from the, the bad Holy Grail and then was like, what is happening to me? That guy. Hey, look, we're Han Solo. Um, we're not going to stay as Han Solo, though. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. So I guess I forgot characters have like a double jump. Does Leia have one too? I guess she does not. But yeah, Han has like a double jump. And then if his gun is out, he does like a triple shot. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. So we are going to go back to the cantina. And we're going to check out Return of the Jedi. Which is somewhere over here. Where is it? Somewhere in this cantina. By the way, you can also leave the cantina. Um, oh, I was in the Empire Strikes Back area. Where does this go? I just want to explore this cantina a bit. Yeah, you can actually leave the cantina, which is kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure you can take command of anyone you want, really. Yeah. Hey, dudes. And you can, you can just have like big firefights randomly for no reason. Get out of here. So if you do unlock the like billion points or whatever, you build a fountain and it gets placed somewhere out here and it just spews those studs endlessly. It's actually kind of cool. But I feel like there was something that you could do with these these like uh, metal thingies. Um, as you unlock more characters, the characters you unlock to start wandering around, uh, you know, tattooing here. So you'll see like Luke and Vader and stormtroopers and stuff walking around and you can just randomly take control of them the way I did for this dude. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, okay, that was episode four. Where's episode six? Oh, this is actually a store too. So we can buy characters if we want. Rebel Trooper. Ooh, hey, we could buy a Stormtrooper. And oh, a lot of these are going to be locked. Imperial Shuttle Pilot. Oh, uh, you can look. Hey, there's the uh, TIE Fighters and stuff. But now we will see... Stormtroopers walking around. Old bricks. What are extras? Uh, use old save. Extra toggle. Fertilizer. Disguises. Daisy chains. Chewbacca carrying C-3PO. That is so cool. Uh, tow the Death Star. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's so much stuff to unlock in this game. Like, I don't even remember everything that's in it. Oh, here we go. I want to fight a Rancor monster. When Luke goes into and infiltrates Jabba's palace. Oh, yes. Uh, I feel like that is one of my favorite scenes in all of Star Wars. Like, I love I, I love Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars has a lot of great moments in it. But that, like, first 20 minutes or so of Return of the Jedi, when the droids go to Jabba's palace and they get captured, and then Leia goes and she gets captured, then Luke goes and he fights the Rancor, then they get taken to the Sarlacc pit and there's a huge battle, and then they finally kill Jabba. That whole sequence, start to finish, is like one of my favorite moments in Star Wars. It just oozes Star Wars. It's like gritty and dark and there's bounty hunters and like a, a weird crime boss king and there's like a monster in a pit and there's Jedi's. And there's like henchmen and space stuff. I don't know. It's, it's just I, I I love that whole sequence. Um, I do love when the rebels fight, you know, the stormtroopers and stuff too. But I've always been like fascinated with sort of the Star Wars underworld. I think um, and 
you know, as if I hadn't made the point enough already, it's one of the reasons I think I was drawn to Mandalorian when that uh, show actually came out. Um, <laughs> and this thing. <laughs> uh, so just so delightfully neat. It's true science fantasy, you know? Like, science fiction is like Star Trek. Or the Death Star. It's like squeaky clean technology that, you know, is defined and, you know, you're pumping gigawatts of power through cables to to generate all sorts of stuff but like star wars is like fantasy it's it's um you know mystical elves and wizards space wizards and stuff and weird monsters and you know like why why is there a giant sort of crime boss castle in the desert who cares it's just cool you know um oh things are glowing um things are sparkling sort of red i think it means dark force power so you need like a dark jedi to to uh, do anything there um you may be wondering too like, how do you actually get Jedis? Um, because, like, I'm Leia and Chewbacca, so how would I actually get a Jedi to do anything here? And the answer is that you have to go into free play. When you go into free play, you're allowed to select your characters, and you can, you know, play this level as Darth Vader if you want. You can play it as, you know, a Jawa. You can just do whatever you want. So the, the, the way that you uh, sort of unlock all these secrets in each level is that you replay each level using um a different character um and you do it through the free play mode anyway let's see what happens when i go here oh hello i see that there's a thing up there boom okay oh he's trying to kill me what the okay what 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 do we do here chewy hey wait chewy okay chewy you just died dude that did not help our cause. Okay, I'm just dying. This is crazy. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, when you have no studs, it's easy to pick up the ones you lose when you die. Okay, am I doing anything here? Oh, I am. Okay. I was like, I feel like I'm just getting shot at and wasting time. Hey, there's that spider thing. That is actually in the movie, Return of the Jedi. It just sort of walks off camera at the beginning. Oh, and Gamorrean guards. Oh, and they blocked my shots. So cool. Yeah, this weird spider thing. I don't know what it is. I'm sure in one of the expanded universe books or something, they explained it, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, God, but it's coming for me. Oh, fight it. Kill it. All characters can get into vehicles. Wait, is that a vehicle? Dewey. Oh, it, it totally is. Wait, what is... Is this good for me? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, whatever. Oh, Leia, get out of there. Get out of there, Leia. Okay, we gotta kill these guys. These Gamorrean guard guys. Oh, yes. Don't mess with a Wookiee, bro. Don't mess with a Wookiee. All right, let's assemble these Lego pieces over here. God damn it. Get away. Gamorreans. So, the Jedi can also block blaster shots. Um, did I just destroy that thing that I just built? Oh, God. Die, piggy. Okay, we gotta build this thing again. And this time, don't shoot it. Ow. Okay, wait, what? Why did I destroy it again? <laughs> I'm confused. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I should pull these and stop the uh, pigos from coming at me. Yes, that will make my life a lot easier. There we go. All right. I think this is just like a electric guitar thing, and it stops them from attacking me. Yeah, like, look at it. Hey, it's playing like the Empire's theme. It's actually pretty funny. This game has like a lot of charm. There we go. All right. There we go. Stop the pipes that are just spitting out random Gamorrean guards. Anything cool in here? Oh, Gamorrean guards. Can I go in here? Oh, no, that's going to kill me. Okay. You learned something. Um, I don't think we can make that jump. We need like a droid or something. I definitely remember replaying through levels and like strategizing. I'm like, okay, I need to bring a droid and Darth Vader. Because I need, like, the ability of flight, and I need, like, dark Jedi powers, you know? Um, so it's like, 
there was sort of a mini game in this of like how quickly could you go through older levels without uh, you know like how how f with how how few runs could you go through a level and unlock all of its secrets and if you had the right combination of characters you could make it happen I think these give me a helmet yeah so now I have a bounty hunter helmet and now uh, B will throw a thermal detonator I guess so there we go so now Leia is a uh... oh god run Chewy Leia's a bounty hunter yeah thermal detonators it's so neat Okay, let's assemble this thing here. And we need 3PO, which we do not have. And see, if you had 3PO, you could get that, uh, uh, you know, multi-pack thing over there. Anyway, Chewie is totally conspicuous as a bounty hunter. Let's just say nobody's buying his disguise. Nobody is buying his disguise. Here's a door that requires a bounty hunter, though, so that's kind of cool. I'm like, hello, I'm a bounty hunter. I'm scum of the universe. Let me in. I'm a scummy bounty hunter. Oh, there's Luke! 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 Wait, wait, Luke! What are you doing? Luke! It's me, Leia! Oh, wait, uh, he's on my side. I thought he was coming to kill me. Luke! Yes! Yeah, eat it, Gamorrean guard. Look, I'm blocking his shots. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's funny that I thought Luke was gonna come kill me. Um, yeah, and he can force choke, guys. <laughs> oh, you want to fight me? I'm a Master Jedi, you see. My name is Luke Skywalker. And, uh, I'm not above choking out some, uh, Good Morning Guards. I always remember having a debate with my brother about Return of the Jedi. When Luke comes in to Jabba's palace for the first time. And those two Good Morning Guards try and stop him. And he, like, raises his hand and they, like, fade off choking. And I remember, I don't know if it was me or my brother, I can't remember which of us believed this, but one of us thought that he was putting the guards to sleep. <laughs> I think it must have been my brother, because I remember looking at that being like, uh, when you go to sleep, do you claw at your throat and desperately gasp for air? Because I'm pretty sure he just killed those guys. <laughs> like, like, no joke, Luke straight up killed those guys. He's a good Jedi, but I mean... I guess I always thought of Luke as he technically is a good Jedi, but he has a bit of his father in him, so there's a little bit of the dark side there. Um, so yeah, Luke. Luke's not above choking out a Gamorrean guard, as it turns out. There we go, he's using his force powers. But before we go further with Luke Skywalker, we need to finish exploring with bounty hunters and such. Ooh, look at this gold brick, a power brick. Lacked one in each level to unlock cheats. Oh my god, I don't even remember what the cheats were in this game. The uh, Kind of interesting. Hello, it's me, Bounty Hunter. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's down here with Luke first. I guess. Oh, <laughs> just some power, just some uh, studs. Look how high Luke uh, can jump. Uh, let's get his lightsaber out. Ooh. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess he's not a dark enough Jedi to use true dark Jedi powers, because I can't open this grate. But anyway, all right, Luke, lead the way. So Luke does not have a blaster, but honestly, does he need it? Oh, is Luke going to become... We're all bounty hunters. We're a gang of bounty hunters. Can Luke throw a thermal detonator too? Oh my god, that's overpowered. Um, wait, what just happened? Did we kill a Gamorrean guard? Oh, we did. Hey, 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 hey. I like having a melee character in this game because you can actually block shots. So one of my, not like complaints, but one thing that obviously sort of sucks about most games where you have melee characters, I can't see what I'm doing, is that the melee characters really have no advantage over the ranged characters and it's like almost stupid to even uh, consider not being a ranged character. But for this game, Luke can not only block attacks, uh, I mean, Luke can block attacks, that's, that's all I meant to say. So it's like, Luke, literally, it's like, yeah, he can only attack at the melee range, but it's like, nobody's, if, if you're on the ball, nobody's getting to him, um, you know? So it's like, it's very easy to, it's like a different play style, but it's like very, in some ways, better than a ranged character, I think. I don't know. 
So I like I like the Jedi characters in this Lego Star Wars game. Oh, this is cool. You stand on a platform and think you then or no. Wait. Can I stand on it and move it at the same time? Oh, he just opened the door for me. I see. Well, whatever. I, I you guys saw what happened there. I lifted the platform up. Get out of here, Gamorrean guard. I'm like killing Chewie. Oh my god, the Gamorrean guard killed Luke Skywalker. Okay, get out of here. Sometimes the camera is at a weird angle or it's far away and it is a little hard to like see what you're doing. I will say that is one that is one complaint I have. Uh, can only be destroyed with the bounty hunter's thermal detonator. Oh, that's what the shiny objects can be destroyed by. Gotcha. So. So, hey, wait, does that mean there was shiny objects at the very beginning of the, the level? But anyway, okay, hold on. Uh, Chewy, sure. Chewy, you can be a bounty hunter. I trust you, Chewy. I th think you can destroy that blue grate thing. I'm gonna see if I can land a bomb close enough to it. Eh, not quite. Play if you could move a bit. Actually, that's pretty close. That doesn't destroy it, nothing well. Oh, I totally didn't. <laughs> Okay, but we can't just throw a bomb like this. Oh, it's stuck to it. It's actually pretty cool. So there was that big shiny thing outside of Moss Eisley. I was like, I can't remember what you do with this. I'm pretty sure you find a bounty hunter and then you, uh, you know, blow it up. Boom. Um, you guys got this Gamorrean guard or what? He's still chasing me, guys. Luke, feel free to kill him. We're not... Okay, build some stuff over here. I guess the helmets run out eventually or something. Like you're not allowed to stay as a bounty hunter forever. Kaboom! Destructible environments, hidden secret areas. Oh, this thing. What is this called? Multi-kit or something? Now yeah, let's be Luke again. Luke, lead the way. I wonder if, do they do two levels here? Like, is the second level on Tatooine where you fight the Sarlacc? Because it feels like this first level is just going to be the entire fight to Jabba. I don't even know if we're going to fight a Rancor, frankly. Um, oh, do I have to kill these things? Oh. Okay, I have to break these one at a time. And then this one over here. Boom. Do your magic, Luke. Do your magic. All right, the door opens. I appreciate that the puzzles in this game, they keep it pretty simple. I mean, honestly, you know, like you've heard people say before, like Star Wars is for kids. Whoa, God. Um, this game definitely was made with kids in mind. I would say it's not necessarily for kids because, uh, you know, I was an adult when I played this game and I still really enjoyed it, but it's it's kid it's kid friendly. You could be a kid and enjoy this game. Get out of here, man. And I definitely did watch uh, Return of the Jedi as a kid, so that movie's. I mean, I think it's kid appropriate, but maybe you're a parent and you disagree. Like I would never let my kid watch Return of the Jedi. What are you talking about? I feel like I would look forward to when my kid watches Return of the Jedi. That's like the opposite. Okay, you get away. Trying to do something here. Oh, yes. Okay, so Luke can break those. I kind of want to go back in the palace and go to that other grate that I missed, but I, it's probably too late. And it probably doesn't matter. I mean, if I were if I were playing this for real, I, I definitely would do that. What is this that we're building here? Sometimes you build things in this game and you don't even know what they are. Oh, look, there. it's a platform? It, wait, arrows? Or what? Oh, it's, oh, hello. Move these pieces over here. Build whatever the hell this thing is. 90% of the time when you find something in this game to build, I have no idea what it is. Oh, I just pushed that droid over for no reason. I'm a dick. <laughs> I attacked that droid because I am an a-hole. Ah, oh, this moves that thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's C-3PO and R2-D2. Okay, hold on. How do I get you guys out? 
Mm-hmm. Wait, if I can stand on this thing. Oh, hello. Oh, I just saved you. All right, this way, creepio. We also have to save R2. Uh, All right. Good. R2, I'm coming in. We got you, buddy. And now, you will be so kind as to open that door, R2. And what is this, 3PO? 3PO? <laughs> I like how he waddles when he walks. 3PO, dude. You useless. I mean, 3PO is a beloved character, don't get me wrong, but... I feel like they very rarely actually even need his, his uh, ling linguistic abilities. I guess they need it when they meet the Ewoks. But like, is there any other alien that they... Can I just... <laughs> well, I can just push R2 and, and 3PO away. We total, totally rude to them. Is there any other aliens that... Uh, that they meet where 3PO is like essential to communicating with them? I can't think of any. I'm like trying to think. Definitely not in Empire Strikes Back. You'd think, like, in uh, A New Hope, maybe he could have helped them communicate with Jawas or Sand People or something, but they seem to know... Like, they didn't seem to want to communicate with those guys all that much, and the little communication they did, they seemed fine about what they accomplished. So I don't know. I don't know what your point in this story is, uh, C-3PO, other than just to amuse me. But you know what? There are, there are more annoying... <laughs> there are definitely worse characters in the pantheon of all Star Wars movies in 3PO, so I definitely don't view him as, like, an annoying character or anything. You annoy me in a way that I find amusing, 3PO. You don't even annoy me. He's not even an annoying character. He's just sort of, like, a funny character. He's supposed to be the butt of jokes and stuff. Just who he is. Okay, can I just jump up here? There we go. Boom! Boom! Luke needs not fu a full set of stairs? Unless other characters need to come up here, then I guess I do need to build the full set of stairs. Oh, look at that. I'm just, like, straight up building a bridge. And then I can reassemble these. I like how we take things that are in this world and we, like, reassemble them to make other things. Like, I made that bridge out of, like, a wall thingy. Kind of cool. Kaboom! Nothing. Anything over here? Oh, hello. Whoops. I didn't do my double jump. Oh, we need R2. And you just, like, not. I don't even have time for you guys today. Choking those guys out is, it's like the lazy, it's like the lazy way to kill these guys. Like, ugh, can you just go away? More? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, you killed me. How did that actually happen? Stop it. Okay, hold on. Just die. <laughs> oh, God. And you died, too. And then we'll, uh, go with you guys. All right. Hey, guys. Stop it. Go away. I'm, like, killing whole families of Gamorrean guards here. They just don't know when to quit. When your enemy is less terrified of you and more exasperated that they have to kill another of your race, probably a sign that you need to stop, bro. You need to chill out. Because you're going to get annihilated. Alright, R2. You lead the way, man. You lead the way. Here he goes. Whee! I wonder, can he fly indefinitely? No, it runs out. It, yeah, I, I didn't stop him there. He just ran out. Oh, and look. Uh, just behind us. Like, how do you get that, I wonder? Probably something to do with these, like, Dark Jedi... Uh, thingies on the wall. But, uh, okay. Break this. Oh, hello. It's gonna be... I was gonna say 3PO. Alright, 3PO, lead the way, my friend! Let us in. This is- this level's all about Luke. I'm, like, totally neglecting Chewie and Han. Like, we're here to see Jedis, right? Die. Die. 
I guess I'm using the choke out more than I am actually slaying guys. But it's like to slay them takes so much work and they fight back. It's easier just to choke them out. Ugh. Slaying people is so much harder. I want the laziest way possible to kill a guy. Hold up my hand and be like, no. -uh. Um, that is the bounty hunter mask. I guess I will let... Oh, man, can we let 3PO be a bounty hunter? Could this work? Ah, uh, he can't do it. So the droids in this game are limited. They can't do everything that all the characters can do. Um, so it's like, you know, they can't uh, pull levers and wear hats and stuff, apparently. Let's assemble this thing here. Right, then another boombox. That would have been helpful that they slayed all the guards. Oh, hello. Those guys are just jamming out. Everybody watch out. Okay, hold on. Everybody watch out. Oh, my God. Is the bomb even the thing that's supposed to do this? Oh, God. Watch out, guys. I'm going to blow them all up. Oh, we killed, like, R2, 3PO, and Leia. Oh, God. Okay, that bomb will take care of those guys. Oh, God. Okay, they're like half partying. Choke you, choke you. Hey, there's Han. He's frozen in carbonate. All right, I don't know what this glowing vent's about, but I don't know if we need it. I'm just gonna run over here quickly and stop these guys. No more you guys. Kill you guys. Aw, oh, you can't hit what you can't catch, bro. And you too. Alright, what do we need? Oh, we need Boba Fett. Wait, what? Boba Fett's in this level? Oh, we need a bounty hunter, maybe. Maybe that's just a bounty hunter. Let's let's do it iconically. Let's get Leia to save him. Uh, where is the face mask thingy? Here it is. Alright, put... <laughs> 3PO's jamming out, man. I think he likes the tunes. I really want to figure out how to open this vent here, but... This might not be in the cards. It's so annoying that it keeps changing the camera angle. Like, okay, that was a pretty choice throw, but even that sucked. Try again. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So I just kill my own allies. Let me get this grate open. I keep saying I'm just gonna give up, but too hard not to. Oh, only stormtroopers can access that area. That's cool. All right, let's see if this accepts it. Hello, I'm a bounty hunter. Oh, hello. <laughs> I like it was just a solid brick. Han, it's me. It's someone who loves you. And Han Solo was so awesome. Star Wars. Aww. <laughs> he must have terrible morning breath. He's been carbon frozen. Uh-oh. Jabba the Hutt finds this all very amusing. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we all have to fight the Rancor? Oh, I don't remember this at all. Alright. Rancor must- Oh, God! It's so big! It's so big. Alright. Assemble. Assemble stuff. Assemble stuff. Oh, God. Okay, what can we do here? Break these things. Oh, God. It's funny how Luke actually fights this thing in, in the movie. He, like, throws a- he sticks a chicken bone in its, uh, in its mouth, and then he, like, can't close its mouth, and it just, like, freaks out. Like, rargh! Oh, God, he got me. Okay. Um, we need a plan here, guys. Boom! Okay, I don't know if that does anything, but... Okay, we're gonna... 
have 3PO do his thing here. Oh, look, the Gamorrean guards are going to start getting eaten by this guy. That's pretty hilarious. Han, it's nice to see you again, old buddy. Okay, I think... Uh... <laughs> Where did Han go? He just, like, peaced out. All right, the Gamorrean guards are going to keep the Rancor busy. Meanwhile, hey, Han. Oh, hello. How do we get up there? Ugh. Oh, God. Okay, we need a character who... who can actually, like, fly, I think. Oh, is that how you do it? You get him to stand near these explosive things and attack him? Oh, it is! He totally lost some health. Okay. I get it. I'd come over here and eat us. We're so... we're ever so delicious. He's not interested in us at the moment. He's really interested in Luke. Maybe I should be Luke. Alright, Luke, lure him over to this thing. Luke, where are you going? He's totally not interested in me. Oh, here, here he is. Okay, now he is. Okay, that did nothing. Okay. I've got Luke. You want some? He's, like, totally disinterested in me. How do you kill this thing? Man, I'm so confused. This this thing is just walking around in circles. Not doing anything. Maybe I have to open both of these things up? I don't know. I feel like there's... <laughs> ironically enough, I was looking forward to fighting the Rancor. I feel like there's no tension here whatsoever, though. It's actually pretty hilarious. We're just kind of, like, walking around. There's no music, even. Oh, I see... When it catches a piggy, it will take him over to one of these barrels, and then you shoot the barrel as he's trying to eat him. Like, he's gonna go over to this one now, I think. Oh! Now he's gonna stand near the door, and we can shut the door on him! Okay. That took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> I like how there's stars near his head, he's not actually impaled through the brain. Hey, we didn't get to see Slave Leia either. Um, <laughs> there's like guys in Darth Vader helmets in their underwear. But yeah, that actually threw me for a loop a little bit. Uh, I was like, how do you f kill the Rancor? I was confused. But it's actually way simpler than it seems. Um, oh, no, never mind. Slave Leia. There we go. <laughs> Look how sexy that is. A blocky Lego body in her underpants. But she's not having it in this one. Level complete, though. We unlocked a super zapper. Kind of cool. We unlocked later Bush, Chewbacca, just generic Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker in Jedi form. This is like collecting all the action figures. You guys remember like in the 1980s, the Star Wars action figures? Remember, did you ever get those for like Christmas or anything? I remember getting some and it's like, it was so awesome. Like just collecting all of them was like so cool. Just having, like, different versions of Luke and Han and Leia and stuff. I don't know. I never collected baseball cards or anything like that, but I feel like collecting Star Wars figures. I mean, I didn't even have all that many, but I definitely had, like, Luke from Return of the Jedi. I had Jabba and his, like, throne from Return of the Jedi as well. Uh, let's pop back to the cantina real quick. I think we're gonna wrap it up real soon. I mean, we did check out one level from A New Hope, one from uh, Empire, and one from Jedi. I mean, I did say we'd go back to A New Hope. So, I mean, I guess I could to not make liar a liar out of me. But I'm also kind of tempted to just continue on with Return of the Jedi, to be honest. Because I feel like that's the most interesting one to me, at least. But you know what? I'm a liar. Uh, but I just want to see if we unlocked anything else. Cool. Everything else is, like, locked. What was that sheet that we unlocked? Super Zapper? 15,000. What does this actually do? The Super Zapper. I don't even know what that does. Uh, we can double jump and press X to do a special Jedi attack. Press X to attack, A to jump. Yeah, these are not, these, those aren't hints. That's just basic instructions, guys. I think you can come in here and, like, you can, uh, yeah, you can make sort of random characters. <laughs> you want to be these random characters? Best skin Bob Skywalker. Blue, green. Biff Green. Grey Princess Dave. 
Uh, sure. Anyway, I, I don't know how you actually plays those guys. Hey, there's Luke! Luke, come over here. Sweet. Hey! Who dares attack Luke Skywalker in the cantina? Oh, that was that was a stormtrooper. Yes, he says you unlock characters. You just, you just start finding them wandering around in the cantina here. It's actually totally awesome. All right, let's take a... Oh, Luke can actually do the... Oops, sorry, R2. Luke can actually force power these things, and they, like, spit stuff out for him. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. Anything else? I guess we haven't seen Obi-Wan because we totally skipped past episode four, but whatever. You guys know Obi-Wan. You guys remember Obi-Wan? He was a character in Star Wars. Did some stuff. Uh, you probably remember. The name probably sounds familiar. You might know him as Old Ben Kenobi, but his real name's Obi-Wan. Anyway, the Pit of Cocoon. We do actually get to uh, play the Sarlacc Pit. So two of the six levels for episode six are relevant to, uh, you know, the Jab of the Hut scene at the beginning of the movie, which I'm okay with. I think one more level is Dagobah. And then I guess that leaves three levels for the final battle. I guess one would be an Ewok level, one would be a Death Star level, and one would be, uh, you know, Luke fighting uh, Darth Vader. Um, oh, I like how they've got their plan in motion. It's about to happen, guys. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, jumping, and... Oh, he's doing a lot of tricks here. <laughs> he's he's showing off a little bit. And finally, R2. Hey. There we go. This They made this way more elaborate. Long story short, Luke kicks some ass and saves everyone. He went from prisoner to deadly opponent. And all he needed was one droid on the inside. And now if we go, oh, I think we got, uh, oh, I thought I was controlling Luke, but no, I think I'm controlling Lando Calrissian in disguise, no less. Um, all right, Luke, assemble this. So we definitely will wrap things up here. I'm probably not going to do another full level here. Wait, I can just straight up choke Lando. Oh, wait, you can confuse him. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know what purpose that serves. <laughs> He's supposed to be on my team, right? Lando, are we on the same side or, or not here? Bink. Bink, bink, bink. Oh, yeah, you try and get Luke. It's not going to work for you. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to just deflect their shots, but half the time I'm blowing up my own ship. Get out of here. What is this? Ooh, a gun. All right. Fine. Fine, I'll kill you guys. All right, what is in this one? Oh, we use our force powers to assemble that one. Hey, that one was way easier. The one I had to build manually, one I could just use force powers on. Huzzah! Ah, oh, you dicks. <laughs> hey, there's Han and Chewie. All right, guys. You guys have ranged weapons. Can you kill these guys already? Oh, Han! Han, you're just failing, dude. Okay. I think we got these guys, more or less. I'm gonna see about, uh... Building this thing while I'm in cover. Aw, oh, you dicks. There we go. What is this thing? I don't remember this from the movies. Just like a big... Platform? We're going up high? What is up here? Anything? Okay, that was weird. I don't know what the point of that was. Uh, we'll build this thing too. Oh, hello. Hi right, guys. On, pull your lever and let's see what this does. Okay, builds more bridge. Um, what does this do? Oh, there we go. Build a gun. Stop these guys. Oh my god. Yeah, so obviously, you want to get a lot better at this game than I am, than I am being right now. Oh, what is happening? Oh. Why would they, why would they extend those? Benefits no one but me. And I'm trying to kill you guys. Oh, they blew it up. They blew up the thing, so, yeah. Oh, hello. Can we... Oh, God. I want this, though. Oh, God, I fell off again. Okay, we're, we're losing all of our studs. But we are getting this thing, guys. We got one of ten. 
Um, oh, another one of these came out. Yes, hold on. If we get four, I wonder what this does for us. There's so many secrets. Here we go. Assemble! 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 Oh my god, they killed Luke! Yeah, I'm doing really bad. It's funny, in like the first level, I joked about like how I'm like, Oh, this is a kid's game, it's casual, it's easy. Meanwhile, it's like, doing horrible. Oh, that's what that thing is for. Very cool, very cool. Well, in a game littered with secrets about Star Wars, we have to draw the line somewhere. And I think we'll draw the line here as we attack Jabba's sail barge. Um, Lego Star Wars is one of the games, the book of Thousand One Video Games, you must play before you die. I mean, obviously, the authors of the game made a huge typo when they put the original Lego Star Wars. They obviously meant to include this one, because why wouldn't you? But, uh, but whatever Lego Star Wars game you happen to enjoy, um, I think they're both, I mean, they're both done on the same engine. Both have the same level of charm and greatness. Oh, we're killing Boba Fett. Um... You know, whatever. If you like the prequels more, play the prequel one. That's fine. Um, I think they're virtually the same game. They're just themed on the different movies. Uh, so, uh, yeah. The, but both of them are good. I mean, both have, like, uh, you know, ship battles and different kinds of engagements and fun nods to the story and, like, very cool levels. Like, look at this. Look how cool this is. You can be Jedis. You can be, you know, Han Solo-ish characters. You can be stormtroopers. Uh, every level is riddled with secrets. There's so much replay value. It's just a great series overall. So if you are a fan of Star Wars, and whatever fan of Star Wars you are, there is a Star Wars Lego game out there um, for you. Oh, I think I killed... Uh, <laughs> I think I might have uh, uh, killed Lando there. Hey, who's shooting me here? Oh, I confused that guy. So it's like I choke out the pigs, but then when they look more humanoid, it's like I grow a conscience and I don't. Interesting. Interesting uh, how he doesn't use the same, you know, abilities on every single guy. Uh, what happens if you open these? Anything? What is the point of all these? Oh, that's a bit of point right there. Oh, we have to find all the things to do the thing to get onto the barge. There you go. Anyway, what do you guys think of Lego Star Wars here? <laughs> is it a game that you grew up with? Uh, is it a game you've played before? Do you love Star Wars? Um, and, you know, are, do, do you love the original trilogy like I do? Um, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on all this stuff, of course. Um, and what you think of Lego Star Wars here. I think it's a great game. I do happen to think that the Lego Star Wars games do belong in the book. Uh, down to my own personal preference, uh, I would go with this one over the other one, but, you know, each their own. I'm not going to tell you guys what to like in this world, so. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on LEGO Star Wars as a series. And uh, as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today has been interesting and entertaining for you. I hope today has brought you lots of nostalgic Star Wars memories. I mean, just listen to that music in the background. Just listen to it. Um, if today was entertaining and enjoyable for you, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and peace. Die, piggies!